and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i make my concha keychains starting off these are the things that i use i use sculpey clay i use them in the colors chocolate tan beige and dusty rose next i do use this liquid poly clay it's not glue but i use it as is also i use this little painter's brush i got it from the art section at walmart and this little piping brush which is in the size 6b and a rolling pin as well I also use a silicone chocolate mold for the base of the concha just to get the shape right. First things first, I go ahead and grab both blocks of tan clay and start putting them into my hands to condition them. Next thing that you want to do is go ahead and just rip off little bits and pieces off of that, roll it into little circles, and start placing them inside your mold. If you do grab too much like I did here, you can always remove some and then pop it back in. You do want to make sure you have enough for your concha base, but not too much where it's overflowing and it looks too plump. You will pretty much repeat the process all the way until you have all of the bases done. And then once you're done, like so, you'll go ahead and move on by popping them out. As you see here, they're all complete. I call a step popping out because as you see here, they go flying like crazy. So you do want to be careful on that. Now speaking more a little bit about this mold, this one can make 24 at a time, which as you see, they're super easy and simple to do. The other sizes make less because they are bigger. Now moving on with that stiff paintbrush, I go ahead and tap all of them over just so I can get a good texture on them. That way I can make them look as realistic as possible. With the rolling pin now, I go ahead and grab a color and I just start to flatten it out as flat as possible. I do use parchment paper just so the clay does not stick to the actual mat because let me tell you, it's so hard to remove. With that little piping tip, it's about an inch and a half almost. I go ahead and just start to pull out those little shapes of the circles as little toppings. Now here's a little tip, this is Sculpey Clay Softener. You are able to use it if your clay is super hard, which I, if you're using the right clay like me, I'm using Sculpey 3, it is super soft and manageable. There's other brands that are harder, so I do recommend you guys sticking with this one if you guys can, and it's available to you. Depending on how many you're gonna make, you will have to repeat the process with all three colors. These are the three colors that I use. I've seen some people use yellow as well. But I feel like these are the ones that I always see when I go to the panaderia and they just look more realistic. Okay, now we are moving on to the part where we're adding the toppings. I zoomed in here just so you guys can see. Um, I just cut a little piece with the, with the edge of that little tip. And I flatten out my base a little bit, apply some poly clay, and start applying as so. I feel like it's easier for you to learn and see it as I'm going versus me trying to explain it. And you just keep cutting another little end of it and then add the poly clay and apply. Remember when adding the little topping pieces, you do want to leave enough space in between to make it look like a real concha. And then just repeat the process over and over again until you're done. Okay, now for this last piece, as you see, it's too big. I go ahead and just cut the front tip of it off and use that as the last little piece on my concha topping. As you were seeing here in this last clip, I was just repeating the process on making the conchas. I go ahead and grab my exacto knife on this one because I noticed the ends are too long and I just kind of fix them up by cutting them down. If you do have that, don't worry, just go ahead and fix it by cutting the edges down and then it will look like a normal concha again. Adding the 
finishing touches, I use these keychain screw eye pins and a little bit of that liquid poly clay and I do press in to apply that little part to the concha. Um, these are oven safe, it's metal so nothing would happen. Now with my exacto knife, I do go ahead and score some little lines into the topping of the concha just to make them look more realistic and I repeat the process for all three. Once that step is completed, I do go ahead and grab this little oven pan and I just place them on there straight. I do set my temperature for 275 and I leave them in there for about 15 to 16 minutes. And once they are out, they look like this. I go ahead and add the finishing touches to them, which are these little jump rings and the little chains for the keychains. Go ahead and use my little pliers just to close everything up and voila simple as that you are done and this is how i make my three little different colored keychains for my conchas don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you aren't already i will have more of these videos up for you guys next week but for this week this is all we have thank you guys so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye I never felt something I never felt